Hey guys, welcome back. Um, we're back in the garage again. Obviously, it's still too nasty outside to do anything. Uh, weather's up and down this time of this time of the year, so my allergies are going nuts. So sounds a little bit froggy here. So, but as you can see behind me, the engine stands empty. I actually got the engine on the ground now. Um, and I'm gonna get ready to mate it to our transmission. Um, we're gonna use our ICD billet adapter and a uh, flex plate that they provide to mate our Turbo 350 to our LS. So um, I did a little bit of modifications to the transmission dipstick. Um, and then all the other stuff we're gonna do to the transmission, I'm just gonna go ahead and do underneath the car. Uh, I don't per se really like to, I mean, as you can tell with the motor, I didn't like to flip it over with the oil pan on it. Uh, same thing with the transmission. Um, but we do have a new transmission pan, uh, new filter, and new gasket and all that. So we're going to go ahead and do all that. Um, I do have another, or a new, um, uh, take down cable for the Turbo 350 um, on the way. Uh, that one decided to break on me. And then I also got some uh, AN fittings for our transmission cooler that we're gonna put on. Um, we're not gonna run the one in the radiator anymore. We're gonna go ahead and switch it to, I haven't ordered the cooler yet, but we're gonna switch it to uh, externally mounted cooler. So that let's get to putting on this uh, flywheel and adapter and put these two pieces together okay so our first step is to get this uh, this is actually a PRW uh, flex plate this is SFI rated so um, if you want to go racing you can go and use this so um, go ahead and put this on this is concave I don't know if you guys can see that what you're gonna want is the concave side facing out so you're gonna want the dish this side facing out towards the transmission um, that just spaces it out right for your, um, for your torque converter uh, we'll get into measuring measuring the space in between this and the torque converter once we get this on and get the transmission all together. Um, I'll go through uh, spacing on that torque converter because you're gonna need some space otherwise you're gonna blow out your pump and your trans. So go ahead and get this flex plate on and start getting ready to make this transmission up to this. So. to 74 foot-pounds um, doing the crossing method so that's what they recommend Let's see if I can get this without having to oh, I'm gonna have to put something on it okay so now I'm gonna see if I can make sure that my shim fits in here it's gonna be a little tight. So this is a shim from ICT Billet. Uh, get the part number off there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this out and just make sure that this shim slides in there nice. 
Um, what this does is this adapts my uh, torque converter to my LS. Um, so we're going to go ahead and I'll get this all cleaned out so this slides in nice and easy so it's not hurting anything, the thrust in the crank when I put it in. So get some cleaner and clean that out. Okay, we got that to fit in there nice and nice and easy so when we do put our torque converter on, it won't uh, hurt too much of be pushing on anything that you're not going to want to. So, put that aside and we'll switch over to the transmission. Okay, we are using the factory uh, torque converter. Um, that's kind of why we're leaving the LS factory because my plan is to ditch this whole transmission anyway. Uh, hopefully next year, we'll see. But I'd like to go to a five speed. Um, when you bolt this particular LS up to the Turbo 350 trans, you do not use, there's no um, provisions in the block for this bolt to be used, so you just use these five bolts. Um, but that's where the transmission dipstick. So what we did was I just used a, um, just use a, uh, the, uh, uh, countersink bit, and I countersunk that so that I could get a, um, this is the hardware that we ended up using, a little bit longer than this, but it countersunk into the actual transmission housing and put a little bit of a spacer on it and a nut to space it away so that because the the ls sits back farther up against this it sits more flush up against the transmission at least the head does um, on the passenger side uh, the ls has a little gap in the back there so or the 350 has a little bit of a gap there in the back so um, it has plenty of room. So all we did was just bent this mounting bracket just a little bit and then had to tweak the tube just a touch. Um, but we got it all squared away and it's clearing the, the back of the LS. Um, so you just kinda gotta watch your little gaps and everything. So uh, before we go ahead and put this thing on, um, you're gonna wanna make sure that your torque converters tight up against the pump because what you're going to do when you put this together is you're going to measure in between your uh, torque converter and your flex plate you're going to want anywhere from uh, 1 8 to 3 16 of an inch uh, play because you don't want this torque converter shoved all the way up against your pump inside your turbo 350 so um, you're going to want to have to, you know, pull it out just a touch. So what we're going to do is we're going to bolt this up. We're going to measure the gap in between our flex plate and our torque converter and make sure it's at least an eighth inch to three sixteenths. And as long as we're in that range, we'll be fine. We won't have to shim it at all. So um, I'm going to go ahead and bolt the transmission up. Um, we'll go ahead and put our adapter onto our flex plate nice and tight and then that'll slide right into the crank and obviously we got our alignment dowels in our block and we'll line this thing up and bolt it together and then we'll go through and measure our uh, spacing on this uh, make sure we won't need any shims or anything so I'm gonna flip you around here and we'll get this all bolted up
So this, this is the gap that you're you're looking at right here. This is flex plate and your bolt-on piece for your torque converter. Um, like I said, that gap needs to be it's kind of hard to get a video of it or a picture of it. But that gap needs to be anywhere from uh, an eighth to three sixteenths of an inch. So I'm just going to stick my feelers in there until I get tight and then take it back out and use my micrometer to measure uh, how, many, um, how many of these feeler gauges I use. So I'll go ahead and get that done. So this is the feeler gauges stacked up here on how much and I got my micrometer all zeroed out. right there so one point or uh, point one two five is an eighth so we are not too far off an eighth and should be perfect so another thing i didn't show you guys is uh we are going to use some adapter motor mounts um these are ict billets adapter mounts for the ls and the small block location um take you back over and show you what we did with our um, actual factory motor mounts we uh we ended up sandblasting the clamshells and then put some polyurethane uh inside inners in there um we also got a polyurethane transmission mount um i kind of mm. did that because i was just kind of an easier thing to do um i could have gotten some holly full engine mounts but just went ahead and did it this way a little bit of a cheaper route so i'm going to set you up here like i said i'm trying my hardest to do this by myself um as far as filming and putting this in so i'm going to get this all put in and then I'll go ahead and put my flywheel bolts and everything on once it's in the car. It's just a little bit easier for me to, um, uh, easier to handle rather than hanging this thing up in the air and doing it. Uh, I'm just going to do it while it's in the car. So let me get you up on a tripod and uh, I'm sure everybody's seen somebody put an engine in, but we're going to put this beast in there. So probably be huffing and puffing by the end of it and probably a little bit more pissed off so we'll uh get this going and uh yeah see how long it takes me
after a little bit, she's in there. Notice I changed some clothes. Had some nice ones on, so put some crap ones on so I can get this thing in there and get underneath. Um, we did run into a minor issue. We got the transmission cross member under there and uh, put the new transmission polyurethane transmission mount on. And yeah, I stripped out one of the holes for the train into the transmission. So there's two bolts in there. They go up and bolt the mount into the transmission. So right now it's got one in it. Um, I'm going to go sometime this week and get a helicoil kit for that size bolt, and I'm going to helicoil that. So um just aluminum ding dong in a hurry trying to get this thing in and it happens so she's in um we do have a little bit of a clearance issue back here on the ac um so we're going to space the transmission up just a touch just to give us a little bit of clearance but everything else is clearancing nicely um fits right in some of the wiring is pretty close here but she's in so i'm going to go ahead and get underneath there and get that uh flywheel and torque converter bolted together so that i don't forget about it so i'm gonna see if i can get you guys down here and get a view of that So with that, that finishes off installing the engine. Um, like I said, I'm going to have to come back and helicoil that uh, transmission bolt hole, which really isn't 
too big of a deal. Um, did mock up the headers. Uh, I believe I'm either going to stick with the stock. I believe I'm going to stick with the stock headers. The old, well, not headers, but manifolds. Uh, just kind of keep that retro look and keep the price down a little bit. But uh, I did go ahead and mocked up the intake manifold on there. The old air cleaner. So, kind of what we're going to go for. Like I said, kind of dumb to use this old air cleaner, but uh, that's kind of what I wanted to go for anyway, was kind of that retro. Um, the biggest problem I see right now is possibly my hood clearance. Um, but we'll see once we start getting everything together. Um, that's down the road. Um, next episode, like I said, I was just kind of working on figuring out oh, where we were at, what we were going to end up doing um, next. Um, I believe I'm going to start working on trying to get uh, my transmission hooked up, um, probably do my filter, um, my pan, and gasket and everything. Um, this car has a linkage off of the steering column here that when you turn the key it allows you to put it in gear um, go ahead and get that linkage redone and clean that up and put that on uh, we got a few things we can tidy up here we got a dipstick oil dipstick for the LS that we can put in just some simple stuff um, like I said I'm trying to get a list together on this next stuff that we need to order up um pretty much it fuel tanks kind of holding me up right now um waiting on that to come in i ordered that a month ago but like everything it takes time um it was back to order back ordered till this month and then they changed it again till this coming month end of this coming month so we'll see if we can keep going on everything um we got to find a place for our holly terminator um we can start wiring some of that stuff up um throwing around the idea of doing a uh, holly front runner kit uh, a little pricey i wasn't really planning on doing my ac this year um but I don't know, might sell some, sell some stuff and just kind of get it. Just bite the bullet and do it. Um, some other cool things we got coming up. Uh, I ordered a, uh, it's a wheel simulator. Um, I'll put a picture up here. And uh, once we start getting the weight on the front end um, and then get our rear end squared away and figure out what we're going to do for rubber and tires and everything um the simulator you can put your tire on and you can simulate it on the car so kind of excited about that still haven't figured out if i'm going 17s or 18s um but yeah so i think next episode we're gonna start bolting some stuff on here we got a starter to do we got a um, our knock sensors we got our intake manifold that we you know that's just sitting on there right now we can finish up our intake manifold put that on um got our brake master cylinder we can go ahead and start putting together brake lines are still not in still waiting on brake lines so much that's it but this might be a short episode um but yeah we're moving right along here like i said big step is in and now i gotta figure out the small little things to finish her up so with that um make sure you guys hit that like button if this is helpful um subscribe i mean like i said not pushing you guys to do it but the, the like button definitely helps out um subscriptions definitely helps out um yeah so 
with that, come on back for more. Finish it off. Like, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. And uh, we'll see you guys down the road and uh, get this thing wrapped up. So we'll see you guys.